Hello everybody, welcome back to the Pixel Dump. This is Brendan here with another free tool called PD Light Wrap. Now, Light Wrap is very useful during green screen work to help make the edges of your talent blend just a little bit better with the background. PD Light Wrap is a really fast and simple way to set this up, so let's go ahead and take a look. Now, here I have a shot of a forest. Like most people who enjoy going on hikes in the woods, I come across a mime now and again. I know, I still jump every time, they're just so quiet. Silly mimes, what a funny joke. Now this particular mime was shot in a studio setting with lighting that doesn't really match the lighting of our forest plate. Regardless, I've done a few things to help out the composite, some color correction. I've also flipped the mime and done a little bit of roto to put this branch back on top. We're also going to use PD Light Wrap to help blend the edges just a little better. So if I go over to my mime key, and I zoom out a little here, you can see that there's a few effects here, including a camera lens blur, some tints, an effect mask, and also a transform on the layer. I'll need to pre-compose this so that PD Light Wrap takes everything into account. Shift Control C on Windows or Shift Command C on a Mac and make sure it's Move All Attributes. And I will call this Mime Full. Now I'll make sure the key is selected and then select the background and I'll go to File, Scripts, PD Light Wrap. As soon as I run that, you can see that this light wrap layer appears directly above the keyed layer, and there are a bunch of effects on the layer as well. I'm actually going to select all of these ones that have the line and twirl them down. Those are really the engine for how the effect is working, but all of the important settings have been pulled out below here. So by default, this is a pretty subtle effect, but I'm going to go ahead and tweak some of the values so we can see what's going on. I'll turn the opacity to 100 and then go ahead and increase the edge thickness, turn the blur to 0, and the softness to 0. If we zoom in and take a look at what it's really doing, we can see that it's adding the background back into the edges of our keyed layer. This first blur setting blurs the image within that light wrap area, which keeps it from feeling like it's just transparent. I'll also drop this edge thickness so we're just kissing a little bit of the light wrap into the edges. And I'll soften that out. And since a light touch is usually best with these things, I'm going to drop the opacity down. This should really be felt more so than seen. A little bit goes a long way, without question. So I'm going to drop down here and take a look at what's going on around the legs. And that does seem to be helping a bit without going overboard. Now a great thing about this light wrap being on a separate layer is that you can do things like change the blend mode to add. That can really intensify the effect if you look down here around his shirt. Say you had a really big light source behind him in the shot, that might help bloom out the edges more realistically. I'm going to turn this back down a little. Another thing you can do is create a new solid. I'm going to call this Matte, and then I'm going to set the Track Matte to Alpha Matte, so that our Light Wrap layer is using that solid as a matte. Now I can go and draw a mask around any portion to selectively Light Wrap. Say I just wanted to Light Wrap the head and shoulders, I can feather out this mask, and then when I toggle it on and off, you can see I now have a selective light wrap. And that's it everybody. You can get this tool for free right now by signing up at our website. I hope you enjoy it. And when you're in the woods, always be mindful of your surroundings. Catch you next time.